<laughs> oh shit. So a lot of you guys want to see me make a, uh, a VR game, which is a, it's a pretty good idea. I'll just go ahead and make a VR game with the VR headset I don't have. <laughs> Oh wait. And so the only obvious solution here is to make my own VR headset because clearly I can't afford a real one. I'm really poor. This is what poverty looks like. Don't judge me. I so the first thing I'm going to need is the base of the VR headset itself. And I think I have just the thing for the job. Here's what we're gonna need. Empty milk carton, scissors, not glass, milk. Duck tape, duck, duck, marker, phone. Now this is going to be a very simple process and pretty much anyone can make this. It should take like about five minutes or something. First we mark the area where the phone will be located. Then we use the other milk carton as a ruler to draw lines along the main carton. Once this is done, we can start cutting. Chop chop, as a Swedish man once said. And now we have a hole for the phone. Let's test it. Great, now my phone is stuck in a f***ing milk carton and I can't get it out. How the f*** am I supposed to More cutting. Chop chop, big hole. Now you can insert the phone and you can see it through the big hole. Now all we need is a tiny bit of duct tape. Perfect! Now cut the duct tape into small pieces. Chop chop! Then we place them inside of the main milk carton, which will support the phone and hold it in place. Wow, look, it, it's totally being held in place. Amazing! Get another milk carton and start slicing it up. Chop chop! Fuck, there's still milk in there. Now we need to fit it to my face. Chop chop! Chop 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 chop! More duct tape! I said more duct tape! Now probably the main feature of this headset is it's completely wireless, which puts it leagues above all of your current VR headsets because they all have stupid wires, which is just annoying. You can also unscrew the lids. Um, now can a real VR headset do that? I don't think so. So all that's left now is to make some games we can play on the uh, on the Oculus Milk. So. <laughs> We're gonna make some games for the Oculus Rift, it's gonna be great, let's do it. First off, I made a test scene, just to make sure everything is configured right. After everything is set up, I put my VR headset, the Oculus Milk, on, which is a really simple process. And as you can see, I can fully look around in all directions and even move around. This is how you move around, it's really intuitive. It's just like real life. I can't even tell the difference. It feels like I'm just on a walk outside. What the? F but I also want to be able to interact with menus and perform actions. But here's the problem. I don't have any VR arms. I only have my face. Which got me thinking, what other sensors can we use? That's when I was reminded of this crackhead preschooler screaming at a microwave. Ah! Ah! And I realized screaming is the optimal solution. So let's try that again. Oh, look at all these cubes. If if only I had some arms so I could pick them up. Fuck. Shit. Huh. Wow, what a success that was. Usually VR headsets make you really motion sick and dizzy, but I barely noticed anything when using mine. So now let's make another game. Now the most popular VR game is probably Beat Saber. And when I visited the Unity headquarters in Denmark, I actually got to try Beat Saber for myself, which was really awesome. And then me and Noah liked it so much, we actually stole like three or four of the headsets and then just ran. We just, we just, we just got out of there, dude. <clears throat> anyway, so before the police shows up, let's just make this Beat Saber game. So first I put together a basic scenery, and then I made some particle using Unity's particle system. And here is what it looks like so far. Then I copied the start menu from Beat Saber and also gave the player a massive laser pee pee. Now the entire point of Beat Saber is to slice cubes, it, it's kind of like Fruit Ninja, but without the fruit and without the ninja, so it, it's, it's actually nothing like Fruit Ninja. Anyway, I made a cube, and is it just me, or is that cube looking kind of thick? Then, by using the Easy Slice framework for Unity, we can do this. Chop chop! And here is some footage of me testing it out and slicing a bunch of cubes with my massive laser PP. All that's left now is to make the cubes move towards the players, so let's give it a shot and oh fuck! Then I became a Jedi for a while and finally ended up with this. Now you might think this is actually the real Beat Saber, but it's actually just my version, and I've called it Bad Saber. 
Also, all of the music for my game is provided by my man Evan King. You should check out his channel with the link down below. He's almost at 20k subs, so you know what to do, gamers. But that being said, let's try out Bad Saber on the Milkulous Rift. The, uh, the Oculus Milk. Okay, let's see here how to play. Cut in the arrow direction and match the color. <laughs> There's only one color, but okay. Release info, that's boring. Uh, yeah, party or solo? I don't have any friends, so I think we're gonna have to go with solo here. Huh! Let's start a bit easy. Ah! Oh yeah! Look at me go! Is this the real Beat Sabers? Cause I can't tell the difference. My neck is starting to hurt a bit. I'm getting motion sick. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I'm so, so motion sick. Holy f Okay, let's do one more. Okay, this is a bit easier. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. My vision is starting to blur. I'm so motion sick. No, oh, no. Okay. So uh, that worked out much better than expected. It, it really felt like I was playing the real Beat Saber. And again, I didn't even get slightly nauseous or motion sick at all. So let's let's make another game. Pistol Whip is another really cool VR game. So um, yeah, we're just gonna make a shitty version out of that too. First, I just got a pistol into the game be because it's, it's called Pistol Whip. You kind of need to have a pistol in the game. You know what I'm saying? Then I found a ninja model on the asset store and made a run animation. And is it just me or is that ninja looking kind of? So the ninja can now run and, and I can shoot him in his stupid face, which is pretty cool. And then I did some more polishing, put together a quick map, and here is the result. The music in this game is, of course, as well by your boy Evan King, so check him out with the link in the description. But with this being done, let's try this on our Oculus Milk and uh, then see how well it works. Let's just get started. This is hard, man. Ah, ah, oh, ah, ah, oh. Yeah, bitch. Ah, 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 yes. Come on. Ah, 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 suck my hot dog. So after making all of this, I found out there's this thing called Google Cardboard. <laughs> Some idiots actually made a VR headset out of cardboard. Can you believe it? It's, it's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Why would anyone do something as ridiculous as this? I, I would never ever consider making something dumb like, like you know, a VR headset made out of cardboard. Come on, dude, are you kidding me? Anyway, uh, Google very clearly stole my idea here, so uh, Google, if you're watching this, I challenge you to a boxing match, one on one. The only thing missing to make the Oculus Milk perfect is implementing VR hands, so it's more like a proper VR headset. And also, I won't have to scream, because my neighbors keep calling the police for some reason, I, I don't know what that's all about. Die! Ah! Anyway, there's just one problem, and that is, I'm using my phone, so there is no way to do this. Or is there? What if we theoretically set up a server on my computer, connect the main phone to the server, and then we get two more phones which will be used as hands, and then we send information from these phones to the computer back to my main phone. Now you might be saying, I didn't understand any of that, and also wouldn't it be easier to just go buy a proper VR headset? Probably. Am I going to do that though? No. I don't think I will. So in the next part of this video, we're gonna make a VR headset with VR hands. So make sure you smash subscribe so you don't miss it, you doofus. Also wishes my game Carlson on Steam to make me a happy boy, okay? Just, just do it. Check out my social media, Twitter, Facebook, we even got Instagram now, so you know. How you doing, fellow kids? Am I hip enough for you now? Anyway, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. You're awesome. Make sure you smash like if you like, smash dislike if you don't. As always, drink your milk, hit the sack, hit Billy because f Billy, but don't hit women because that's bad. Okay, see ya.